This is Ms. Risk. Uh, today we're going over 18.1, which is equilibrium. And we're going to go over, we're going to find the characteristics of chemical equilibrium. We're going to write the expression and we're going to calculate the constant, equilibrium constant from concentration. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go over some book app. Reversible reaction. A reaction that can take place in both the forward and reverse directions leads to an equilibrium state where the forward and reverse reactions occur at equal rates and the concentrations of reactants and products remain constant. All right. So when you see two arrows, one forward and one reverse, that indication that this is an equilibrium reaction, they're going at the same rate. Forward and reverse are equal rate. Sometimes, though, when we're typing it, you'll see it like this. You don't see two arrows on top of each other, but two, two arrows opposite sides. That's also an indication that this is an equilibrium. So if you can't type it, two arrows like this, just uh, do uh, <clears throat> shift, comma, and then um, shift, comma, dash, and then uh, shift again, uh, period. And that will give you this one right here. All right, so remember when we talked about the rate of the reaction, it disappeared, the, the reactant disappeared while the product appeared. In this case, it could go either way. You could start with the, rea uh, with the reactant or start with the product. So the reactant disappear, product appear, SO3, or you could start with the SO3, which is going to disappear, and the SO2 and oxygen will appear. So when you see this type of uh, curve, you know what's going on. Chemical equilibrium. The state in which forward and reverse reactions balance each other because they occur at equal rates. Okay, so we call the whole process chemical equilibrium. Law of chemical equilibrium states that at a given temperature, a chemical system may reach a state in which a particular ratio of reactant and product concentrations has a constant value. All right, so if we have this reaction A plus B gives us C and D, if they ask you for the uh, equilibrium expression, then you put K equilibrium equals to C, you put the concentration bracket, raise it to the coefficient. We're gonna practice a lot on this. Um, so raise it to the power of the coefficient, which is a, the number right in front of it, and divide by the reactant. So it's product over reactant. That's called uh, equilibrium expression. So coefficient, it's from a balanced reaction, it's the number in front. Equilibrium constant. Written K sub EQ, the equilibrium constant is the numerical value that describes the ratio of product concentrations to reactant concentrations with each raised to the power corresponding to its coefficient in the balanced equation. All right, so if the value, if K equilibrium is greater than one, then <clears throat> the product is favored. If less than one, now I'll show you that with the, some examples, that means the reactant is favored. That means the excuse me, the, the product is a lot smaller than the reactant, and that means the reactant is favored. I'll show you some examples. Homogeneous equilibrium. A state of equilibrium that occurs when all the reactants and products of a reaction are in the same physical state. Okay, they're all gases or they're all... Uh, aqueous solution, then it's called homogeneous. Heterogeneous equilibrium. 
a state of equilibrium that occurs when the reactants and products of a reaction are present in more than one physical state. Okay, in this example, we have liquid and gases. Now, in an equilibrium expression, gases and aqueous are included. Liquids and solids are not included. And I'll show you what you do when you see them in a minute. Okay, so let's practice. Write equilibrium constant expression for these reactions. Okay. Oh, another way, <coughs> excuse me, another way of doing it is put the equal and then the two arrows. All right, the first expression. Okay, equilibrium is the concentration of the product over the reactant. They're both gases, so they're all included in the expression. So you write NO2, concentration of NO2, raised to the power of the coefficient, divided by N2O4. And you're done. So when you write the expression, that's all you have to do. You have to put, the, put this in the brackets, raise it to the power of the coefficient, divided by the product. <clears throat> Let's do one more. Write the equilibrium expression for this reaction. Carbon monoxide plus hydrogen gives the CH4 and water. <clears throat> Again, CH4 in brackets, there's nothing in front, there's no coefficient, and water, there's no coefficient, so you just put them in brackets. Uh, CO in brackets, but H2 has a 3 in front of it, so you raise it to the power. Now, the some mistakes that some students did in the past was they put a plus sign here, or they put parentheses. No, you want brackets, because that's the law. You have to put brackets, and it's multiplication is not addition. Let's do one with... Um, Let's do one with the heterogeneous, not homogeneous. So let's see. Now remember, gases and aqueous are included in the expression. Solids and liquids are excluded. Okay, so this one, it has solid and gas. What you do is you cross out the solids, you put one, and then write the expression, which is uh, C10 hydrogen 8 in brackets over 1. And that's your answer. Okay? So again, you see solid or liquid, you cross it out, put 1, and then write the expression the way you did. Let's do one more. Calcium carbonate dissolves or uh, dissociates uh, into carbon, calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So solid, cross out, put 1 cross out, put one, and write the expression. Okay, so that's the heterogeneous. How is this one? With the liquid. Liquid, you do the same thing. You cross out and put one, and then write the expression. Okay, let's do one when you have to calculate um, the chemical equilibrium. It's still, you can... This will be on the PowerPoint, but um, let's do one. Calculate the chemical equilibrium for uh, this reaction right here. They're all gases, so they're all included in the expression. And they're giving you values, though. The values for N2O4 is 0 0.0185, and the values for NO2 is 0 0.06. So all you have to do is write the expression, raise it to the... Coefficient, plug in the values and do the math. So square it and divide. 0 0.0627 square divided by 0 0.0185. And that gives you the answer. Okay, let's do one more. They're also in all gases, so they're all included in the expression. So once you write the expression, you just plug in the values and do, multiply and divide. Okay, any questions, just send me an email. Um, you're going to do the teach me, so if you, if you need help with that, let me know. <clears throat> but it's all expression and calculating the equilibrium. We're also going to have, next section, we're going to have this. We're not going to have a quiz for 18.2. We're going to have uh, graphic organizers. And don't, don't do it before me, because I want to go over it. Um, 
I'll have a video on that in a couple of days. All right, take care. Good luck.